All right, so opening up the Chrome box is actually very simple. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and maybe something small with a small flat edge like a flathead screwdriver or something like this tool I have in my hand. So you just have to flip it over. And I've already taken this one apart. Um, and so if there's two screws right here and right here, you can feel free to remove those. Otherwise, there's a screw here, 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 and here underneath these rubber pads. So with the tool, you just gently lift underneath and take the pad off. In this case, um, I will have to reapply an adhesive to make the pad stick. And now with the Phillips head screwdriver, you just take the screw right out. Okay, now with that same flat head screwdriver or a tool just like this, um, just gently find the edge between the outside plastic casing and the bottom of the unit and you can just gently pry up and you will get this bottom plate removed and that's all you need to access the uh, motherboard, RAM, SSD and Wi-Fi card. Okay, you can see here we have two RAM slots and there's right now there's two sticks of two gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. You can upgrade that to eight gigabytes, uh, two four gigabyte sticks if you want. Um, over here we have the Wi-Fi card, the two antenna cables, and underneath we have the 16 gigabyte M.2 uh, SSD with the Chrome OS installed onto it and that is Kingston brand in this case but you might find something different like SanDisk or LightOn etc or even maybe Samsung and that's it if you wanted to upgrade the RAM this is how you do it just like uh, you do with any laptop in this case I'm going to keep four gigabytes installed because even in 2022, uh, just running Chrome OS is, I, I don't really see the, uh, I think they'll be just fine with four gigs of RAM. Um, however, some people have um, installed things like Windows 10, uh, Linux, any kind of OS, you just would want to upgrade the SSD to a larger storage capacity. But there you have it. Let's put this thing back together. All right, and as I stated before, I'll have to use some Gorilla Glue or something to get these pads to stick back in place again. Uh, this won't be the case with every single Chrome box that you take apart, but... In this case, it is, and that's not a big deal. The ASUS Chromebox model CN62, featuring an Intel Celeron 3215U CPU at 1.70 gigahertz with integrated Intel UHD graphics 600. Uh, this particular model shipped with four gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM, um, a 16 gigabyte Kingston M.2 solid state drive, a Wi-Fi card, and let's check out the I/O. So on the front we have two times USB 3.0, and on the side here we have an SD card reader. And on the rear I.O. we have a power plug for the power supply, which you plug into the wall. An RJ45 Ethernet port, two times USB 3.0, HDMI port, and a display port. 
and what looks like a microphone, possibly, oh, wait, mar there you go, microphone and headphone input. So, let's see how this thing performs. Let's plug it in. All right, so there's a few things that you can do with an Asus Chromebox of this model in 2022 and onward. Um, I'll just adjust to the brightness of the screen. So you can, of course, just use this for general web browsing, um, accessing email, um, looking up videos, looking at pictures, whatever you would normally do on a computer with your web browser, with some limitations, I suppose. Uh, you can use it as a media streaming device. You can hook it up to your HD TV. Um, you can hook it up to your monitor with an HDMI cable or display port cable. Uh, you can run dual monitors with this thing. So you can be working and playing a video at the same time. Uh, yeah, you can watch YouTube videos on your TV or wherever. Uh, you can use it mainly as a media streaming device for watching Netflix or watching Disney Plus, Hulu, whatever. Um, especially hooked up to your TV, you can just leave it sitting in your living room, maybe hook up like a USB mouse and keyboard to it. Um, yeah. What you can also do there's a variety of different applications that you can use that are built into the Chrome OS. Uh, there's a lot that you can download off of the Chrome store. Um, and other people uh, do things like install Linux on these machines and run them as uh, game emulator devices. You can run Super Nintendo games or whatever is best uh, matched for the hardware inside. Um, I did manage to find one that I can play without modifying the system at all. So I was spending some time playing uh, some Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario World. And yeah, you can uh, use this as a little retro gaming device and you can download um, a lot of ROM files. They don't take up a lot of space and you'll, st even though the SSD is only 16 gigabytes, you'll still have a fair amount of space to run whatever games that you want. So, yeah, that's always an option. So I won't go to, into any more uh, detail. You can feel free to ask any questions in the comments below or you know, share some experience about what you do with your Chromebox or Chromebook which are uh, relatively the same. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. These are some things that you can do with your Chromebox. Um, what is the model number? Chromebox CN62 in 2022 and onward. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if I end up fooling around with this thing a little bit more and installing Linux or doing anything else with it, uh, maybe I'll make another video or talk about it in the comments if someone asks me the right questions. So thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.